Hi guys, Batch here. Today we'll be reviewing the Range Master 0.338. How powerful it is, is it? And how far can it shoot? Now that moves us down. Oh, just for reference, I've put on all the different scopes. This is the free one, the accent, 1 times 24 and 4 times 24. As you can see, a lot less than the binoculars. But it keeps the gun really steady, so for short range, it would be excellent on this gun. Now for a mid-range to long distance, we're going to put on the Hyper Ion, which is 4 times 42 to 8 times 42, which is the same as the binoculars at 8 times 42. Now let's hold our breath and see how steady we can be. And see any little movement, it starts to move around on the gun now. Any mouse movement, the gun actually feels heavier when you put on the bigger scopes. Now we're going to put on the Argus, which is 8 times 50 and 16 times 50, which is greater than the binoculars. There's 8 times 50 and there's 16 times 50. Now we're really zoomed in, let's hold our breath. As you can see, this gun feels a lot heavier now with this scope on. It's harder to control and keep steady. And this is what we're going to be using at the long distances. And there's the binoculars. And as you can see, the Argus outdoes the binoculars by a long way. So let's see how this gun shoots at distance since it's called the Range Master. We need to find out how far it can shoot and how accurate it is. But being in my hands, it might not be very accurate. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. Okay, I've got a black tail over here. This seems to be 200 plus, hopefully. You can see the gun's moving around like crazy. shot at that I probably should have aimed higher so I'm fairly level with the animal I'm not higher than it I'm pretty much on the same plane and at long distances it's always better to be higher than the animal I find sort of like a sniper in battlefield but this gun's a lot harder to control than them guns and he does look injured so we'll go over and have a look at this thing All right, he has gone down under the tree just from the one shot. Let's see where we've hit it and what the distance is. I've right, hit it in the leg, so the bullet did drop. And we get 209 meters. So a bit of distance there, but we need further. I want to shoot further. This gun should be able to shoot at 400. Oh, I've got a moose, which is pretty far away. I've hit it. Where is he? He's not that far away. The moose can't hear the shot. Just getting hit by bullets, hopefully. And that second shot did hit it, look injured. So I've put a third one across its bow. Where's the moose gone? It's running. Might have to shoot it again. The bullet drop on this will be severe, I'd imagine. I'm way across the lake. Let's go see if we've hit the moose and if we can find the body. Uh, we have hit it. It is down. I don't know how many times I've hit it or what distance. So this will be good to find out. Here he is. Let's have a closer look at him. He was way across the lake there. Without these scopes on about, I said, there's the bullet drop there at 313 meters. Second shot is 328 meters. Now that's pretty far. In the classic hunter, that'd be out of render range. Now I've got 
a pack of deers across here. Got some black tails. There's a couple of bucks for these guys. So they're going to try and take the bucks. is really far. This is the furthest shot of the day, I'd imagine. Oh, he looks injured. Looks like I have hit it. It's holding its head down. <laughs> shot into the second buck. Hopefully that's hit it. Let's have a look. Kick back on this gun is amazing. <laughs> Really kicks like a mule. At uh, once now. I'm try to aim at its head so it at least hit its body because of the bullet drop. I don't know if I've hit it. Let's have a look. Looks injured. Hopefully that third one did, it is injured. And these bullets are so devastating. I think both of these should go down. Yep, they're both down. So let's go see how far that was. What was that distance? I think that was the furthest shot of the day and probably the furthest shot I've ever done in this game. So if you're a long distance shooter, this gun is for you. You're gonna have to buy the scope though, the Argus or the Hyper Ryan. Hyper Iron's equivalent to the binoculars. Let's see how far we've hit this. Oh, that was the second one. And I've hit it 372 meters and 388. And you can see the bullet drop there, hit it in the foot. Oh, here's the first one we shot. I don't think this is gonna be as far as that second one. Well, let's have a look. 347 meters. So you can see this gun shoots well above 300. It will get to 400 plus, I'd imagine. But you have to be there. It is. There's the rifle. Sixty thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure the scope was 34,000. So you're looking at 94,000 for this kit. And here's the bullets. They're not cheap either. The soft tip, are 790 a pack. And the polymer tip are 1,050. So you want to be shooting straight when you're using these to get your money back. But it is a good gun. It's worth to have this gun in your arsenal. It does weigh a bit. I had to take the shotgun out and the pistol out to get this one in. But I like it. And if you want to be a long distance shooter, a bit of a sniper in the call of the wild, this is the gun for you. I've enjoyed the hunt, it's been a bit of a hassle, we've still got some bugs in the game, it's taken me a while to make this, but I thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one guys.